to this week's Marion and Mum live show. I'm Marion and this is my mum, Noi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. We love cooking for you guys. Each week we have a super awesome menu coming up. We're going to be doing, what are we doing? You always forget right. what we're doing. <laughs> right, fried uh, coconut. Fried prawns in coconut, that's yeah. right. And then we're also doing my mum's very special satay sauce. Aren't yes, we? Yes. This one is so good. You guys are going to love this one. Ah, oh, it's my favourite. Okay, so before we get to that, guys, we are live. So um, ask any questions that you want. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know if you're a first time viewer. We've got lots of people that come back every week, but we'd love to know if it's your first time here. And we're also going to be doing a Q&A, like a specific Q&A segment later yeah. on in the show. So type in your questions or uh, save them up for the Q&A a little bit later. So first of all, what are we doing? We're going to do your your prawn and the coconut first, aren't we? Yeah, first we have to make the, the sauce first, so the dipping sauce first. Oh, that's right. So this is a really cool one, guys. We have a thing in Thailand. Um, it's a, a sauce called adat, or it's yeah. like a relish, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. we use it for lots of different dishes. We use it for these prawns. We use it for satay. Yes. So the one relish is going to do you for a couple of different yeah. dishes. So yes. you're going to show us how we do that. So yeah. I'll turn this on because you always like to fiddle with this. That's why I have to stand <laughs> next to the stove before yes. we get cooking. All right, so you go over there. I've turned it on for you. Yes. And how do we make the syrup? Now so this we, uh, is sugar. Yeah. White sugar. So this is like a relish, guys. Yeah. This is going to go on. On, uh, we're going to use this for both of our recipes yes. today. Yeah. And vinegar. Vinegar. Yes. And you stir to the sugar dissolve. You can okay. see that when it's ready, that the sugar starts to be dissolved, right? And so, Mum, what's predominantly what are the flavors we're going for here? This is uh, a sweet, a, a, a sweet and and a sour. Sweet and sour. Yeah. yeah. It sort of adds like a seasoning to yeah. the, you but, know whatever. But this one you have to make the sauce first because. We don't like it to cool down, okay? Yeah. Not too hot. So you, you want, want to cool it down before we add this. We're going to add some cucumber and some other vegetables, but we need to get this cool, heated up and then cool first. Yes. Do you want a pinch of salt in there as well? Yes. Okay, a salt. little bit of yes. salt. Put that in there. And I'm just going to see if we've got anyone saying hello while you're doing that. Yes. So this is, if you're just joining us guys, um, we're doing coconut prawns and we're doing chicken satay today. Yep. Let's see who we've got. Oh, someone's watching from Fiji. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. We've got uh, Deb from Brisbane. We've got Chantel from Perth. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. All right, so we've got. So you just want to heat this up yes, until that's it, it. Okay. It took out a salt. So while we're waiting for that, Mum, why don't you tell us a bit about this coconut stuff that's going on, the coconut and the prawns and stuff like that. Right. I'll get this oil heating. Up. Yes. Yeah. First, we make the the. Uh, the Butter, dipping butter first. So you're going to do, um, so, so with these prawns, you're going to do a batter first. Batter first, And yeah. then you're going to put it in the coconut. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. First, you've got flour. Yeah. Right. And uh, water. Okay. Water. So this is just plain flour? Just pl flour, just plain, plain flour. flour yeah. Look at that cute little whisk you got. You love yeah. that cute whisk. Any excuse to use that cute whisk, <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Let me hold that for you. So you're just whisking it in until you've got like a quite a thick batter, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I want some more water. Do you want some more water? Yeah, I've got some more water here. See, lucky, lucky we came prepared yeah. with more water. Yeah. Okay. Need to like a, uh, not too runny, okay. not too thick. Because you kind of want, you want it to really to the, uh, prawn. stick to the prawn, yeah. don't you? That should be enough now. Okay, I'll take yeah. the water away then. Okay. Yeah. So this is um, this is a really great party food dish, yes. isn't it, Mum? Yeah. So did you bring the wine for us? <laughs> yes. It's like it's wine time, you yes. know. Someone, whoever did the food prep forgot to bring the champagne. It's very <laughs> disappointing. All right. So this is how thick. So would you, let's have a look at how thick this batter yeah. is, because that's quite thick to me. I, I, that's, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We've got a little bit thick, not yeah. too runny. Okay. Right. Okay. So thick. Turn yeah. On. Turn the oil on. Now you've got that. Ready, right? Okay. Prawn. Prawn. The prawn. 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 Or In obviously, here. if you're joining us from the US, you yeah. would know that as a you, shrimp. You'd hand. You'd by hand. Okay, like this, by right? hand. Yes. Cause the, then you put it. In here, right? Okay. And so press a little bit. Can you tell me a bit about this coconut, Mum? This uh, fresh coconuts, right? So we peel the skin. Ah, yeah. like that. 
because we're, we're, we're really lucky, obviously, because we're joining you guys from Bangkok. Yep. And my mum heads to the market um, every morning for our Facebook Lives and gets all the seafood and all the fresh ingredients from our local wet market. And we're super lucky because our market has these beautiful, yep. fresh coconuts. Yep. Mm, so mm -hmm. yum, lucky. So this yes. is all peeled. All peeled. This one not peeled. And that right. one's not peeled. And then this is there's a guy there yep. that grates it for you, yep. isn't there? Yeah. Mm. And uh, yeah, you just got so that. So this is fresh, but a lot of people um, that are joining us, Mum, probably can't get fresh, fresh coconut like that. So what you can, can use uh, rye coconut. You can get them on the, on the supermarket. Is that like buy. that desiccated coconut yeah. in the packet? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. You can get so that. people could grate their own though, couldn't yeah. they? If you went to the trouble of opening up, like you could get this and like literally just grate that cookie. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, if you can, yeah. yeah. So if you can get a hold of a fresh coconut and then you can grate it yourself. I really love the fresh coconut flavour. Yep. It's not as um, strong as the desiccated coconut. It just yep. adds this really lovely fresh, well, fresh coconut yep. flavour, I guess. Do you want me to see? Half, yeah. So if I was doing this for a party, Mum, could I do this in the afternoon and just put these onto like a tray or something? Yeah, you can. And yeah. then what about if I wanted to freeze them? Say, if, say, say you come over on a Saturday and you make me like a massive batch of them, like 50 or 100, I think and then we can put them in the freezer. No. 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 I think we put, no. <laughs> Are you saying no because you don't want to come and make me a hundred of them or because you can't put them in the freezer? <laughs> you can put them in the freezer, everyone. Yeah. Put them in the freezer and then you can um, cook them from frozen. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now you get that. Okay. So you need fried it. Okay. So do you want me to test this oil first? Yes. Okay. Okay. So we've got um, a wok with some oil here, just some vegetable oil. Yep. Uh, and we're just testing it out by putting something wooden in there. I happen to have a giant chopstick because I like giant chopsticks. And we can see lots of those little bubbles so we know yep. that oil is hot. Yep. We don't want it too hot because we no. don't want it yet. Just, just, just put, you want to, let's swap. You go this okay. way. Ooh. Nice. Now, do you want me to look after? Do you want to yeah. make a few more, Mum? There's only yeah. three there. That's not enough for me. And there's all yeah. the camera guys here that are going to eat some of these after the show. Yeah. So we've got to make sure we've got enough. Yeah. Because they're pretty quick, you know. They just come in and, and then all of a sudden it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need at least six. <laughs> okay, so these are looking so lovely and golden. Yeah. And I love how that, that nice fresh, see that fresh prawn texture? Yep. Yeah. And then that... That crispy batter. Yep. Mm, that's looking so uh, good. Yep. Okay. And then. So. so, as always, we like to drain our deep fried things on some paper towel. And just while I'm doing that, I'm just having a look to see if we've got any questions. Anne's asking if you don't have a wok, can you use a frying pan? Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yep. So, and the best thing to do would be to use a saucepan. Yep. Um, with a frying pan, it's a little bit too shallow, so you find that you get you sort of like down. burnt spots um, because the food will kind of stick to the bottom of the saucepan. So, uh, sorry, the bottom of the frying pan. Yep. So, you really want saucepan rather than frying pan. Yep. So, you head over there and put those prawns in, Mum. Let's see who else is. Watching. We've got Pip watching from New Zealand and Tish saying, Marion, please play for Ireland. Hi, Antish. Not happy that you beat us in the rugby, but that's okay. Um, all right, so, ooh. Okay, I, I, now I'm happy with that amount of prawns now, Mum. Yep. I'm happy with that. Yep. <laughs> so should I check on our syrup? Is our syrup cool enough yet? Yep. So... So you tend to the prawns, and how, how do we tell if they're cooked, Mum? You can see that turn the colour turning, yeah. brown a bit, but not take too long. The prawn they take not take long to cook. Yeah. But make sure there's. Uh, and we'll open one of these up later, and you guys can have a look. And when we're serving, because I really love how this thick batter sort yeah. of it actually like steams the prawn inside, so the yeah. prawn stays really juicy and tender. Yeah. It's a really good um, batter mixture. Now, yeah. So, guys, if you're just joining us, we are making coconut fried prawns. 
Um, and we are also going to be making some chicken satay. So stay tuned for that one. Yum. Okay, so prawns are done. And we're going to make our... Do we want to finish off the ajab first? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so how do we do that? Do you want me to find a serving bowl for that one? Okay, get your serving bowl. Um, Maybe this one? I think we can do after noodle satay. Oh, you want to wait yeah. a little bit longer because well, you want to wait for this to cool down, yeah, don't cool you? Down okay, right. Well, yeah. I'll put this over here yeah. then. So we'll do that one later. Yep. So why don't we get everything ready to do the satay? And in the meantime, okay. so we're going to do question time, Q&A time. <laughs> So, Mum, do you want to get rid of this stuff? Yeah. And I'll answer some questions at this time. Yeah. Specific five-minute countdown of Q and A. Okay. Um, first question is for you, Marion. Uh huh. Where was your first home? My first home. So, I was born. My mum and dad met in Bangkok, in Thailand. And um, then they got married and went to Darwin. Yes. And I was born in Darwin in Australia. So that's like the top end of Australia for those guys that are joining us from the US. And then we lived in Papua New Guinea for a while. Yes. And then I went to school in Queensland. We came to Thailand all the time for family holidays, obviously, because my mum is from here. Yeah. And yeah, that's the short story of yeah. the long story. <laughs> So we moved to Thailand, um, so we've been coming here all the time since I've been very little, but um, I moved back here with my family, so my husband um, and now my daughter who was just born in Bangkok last year, and we moved back here, we moved here six years ago now, six years we've been living here, so, and you moved back as well because where would you be without me? <laughs> you in, yes. So my husband is really happy because my mum, his mother-in-law, lives 500 metres down the road from us in Bangkok. He's very happy about that, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> Speaking about your husband, uh -huh. number one questions on, you, uh, I mean on Google was, who's your husband? Yes, it's very strange. Everyone, so I had a couple of marriage proposals this week on Facebook. Thank you, guys. I was very flattered. But um, yes, I do have a husband, and he also works in our Marion's Kitchen business, so it's very much a family business. Um, my mom, my dad, my husband, um, we're all here uh, work. And actually, oh, I have an embarrassing photo that I decided I would show of my husband, Tim, because he's at home watching. And this is Tim and our little baby girl, Charlie, and he's, you know, there just sleeping and looking all cute and stuff. So <laughs> Tim's going to be angry about that. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys um, and I'll get in trouble about that later. <laughs> Next question is, um, can you describe your wedding? Can I just, on oh, my wedding? Now we had a lovely wedding, didn't we? Yes. In McLaren Vale in South Australia. So Tim and I lived in McLaren Vale in South Australia. Shout out to everyone who's living uh, down on the Flurio. Uh, we lived there in the in wine country for about four or five years, and it's one of our most favourite places on the planet. Uh, so we went back there to get married at one of our friends' wineries. Beautiful yeah. wedding. How? We, what? Uh, any more questions? How are we going for time? Goodness, I feel like I'm just yabbering away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a couple more questions. Okay. Uh, one quick question about. Uh, so what's What's Tim's favourite dish? I think Tim, you know, I, Tim loves Thai food. His favourite dish would probably be pad ko pao. He has that like every day for lunch, which is like this <laughs> spicy, uh, spicy Thai stir fry dish. And he's, I don't know how he eats so much of it, but he eats it every day. He loves it. All right, so what are we doing? We're doing satay now. Question yes, time. Satay. You got any more questions, guys? Write them down. We will get to them as well. But um, let's do the satay. Yes. You know. Yes. I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> so what do we need for satay? We, we need, need this stuff? Yep. Okay. Got that. And chicken. All right. So we're going to do chicken satay, but you could do like pork or what else? Could, you could do pork or, or you could do beef, couldn't you? Yes. Okay. So we'll put, do me to get the stove on for yep. you? So why don't you start doing okay. the marinade and I'll work the stove. Okay. Because you don't uh, like working the stove. This is chicken. 
So chicken, and we're using chicken thigh because that's what we like. We like yep. the dark meat because yep. it's juicy, but you yep. guys can totally use the chicken to, breast if you would like. Cut. Huh? Oh, so you want, so this is Just how big, strip like this. so long strips. Like this, like this. Okay, okay. long strips. Yep. And then how, what do we do now? This is now mm -hmm. uh, oil. Mm -hmm. right. Cooking oil. Yeah. And a little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar. Yeah. So the sugar really helps to caramelize yeah, the, the chicken. Flavor. I know, you know, I, I really think it adds a little bit of that sweetness, but it's more about the yep. caramelized edges yep. I always mm -hmm. find with the sugar rather it's, than the sweetness. Um, curry powder, like a, uh, in the India. An uh, Indian curry, or any kind of curry any powder. Any curry powder. Curry yep, powder, yep. okay. Do you want me to give that a mix for you? Yep. Okay. And then do you have to leave this for long, Mum? No, don't have to. Don't have to. Just uh, mix it up and you okay. can, yeah. So like I could just like you know we could just cook it right now it'd be yes, fine, right? yes. or you could leave it like yes. overnight would be good, yes, wouldn't it? Be good, yes. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, now we've got that. Yeah. Leave on the side. Okay. So now we start to powder peanut. Okay, peanuts. We want to make a satay sauce. So this is like the special ingredient I think in your satay because. Yep. Um, you have the fresh crushed roasted peanuts. Yep. So that's this one yep. here. Yep. Yep. Put in here. So how did you make that, Mum? So you just, just uh, put in a pan, just normal, no oil. Yeah. Just, yeah, no oil, just, just so pan to the color, dry, dry, dry one. Pan. Yeah. 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 Dry pan, no oil, no, no just no, dry. No, nothing, okay. And it turned a bit color. So you really want them nice and dark, yes, don't you? Bit, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I reckon that's like the secret. This is yes. the secret, put guys, to and the Mum's You can put in a blender too, if you don't have the pestle. Okay, because you want to make it really quite fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you can do a, uh, yeah, like this part. Just a little bit fine, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like this. So while you're doing that, Mum, I'm just going to duck off and grab some gloves so we can thread our chicken. I'll be back. Yeah. Hold the fort. Now, we got that now, so we just... Back. Okay, so this is how fine you want yep, it? Yep. Yep. Oh, it smells so good already. Yep. So we put Okay, so I'll put this away for okay. you. Yep. And then you wanna do the do you wanna do the skewers first or you wanna do your satay sauce first? Satay sauce. Satay sauce. Alright. Let's get you a saucepan. Yep. I'll get this turning on for you. Okay. Do you want it on medium? Well medium, yeah. Medium. Not to be okay. Too hot, right. Alright, so how do we make this super special satay sauce? Uh, yeah. Oil. Oil first. The oil. And then we like to use red curry paste as a base for ours, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So you just want it. So we're frying off the red curry paste so that we release all of the flavors and yeah. the. And this is the red. important part about curry yeah. paste. You know, Thai curry paste. You always want to give it that little bit of heat at the beginning yeah. to get all of the flavors out and all the essential oils and all the yeah. aromas going. Yeah. So we're we going to wait for that to... So, yeah. so do you want me to turn this up for you? Okay. okay. So we're using my we're using my Marion's Kitchen Thai red curry paste for this one guys. Yeah. And the thing with my red curry paste is that it comes in... Where's my little pack? So it comes in these little packs. So what I've done with the curry paste is it's pre-seasoned. It has the fish sauce and the palm sugar um, and everything to get that right balance of flavour. If you're using a, another store-bought brand of, of curry paste, that's totally fine, but you just might need to adjust the seasoning a little bit of the sauce. So yeah. you might need to add a little bit more fish sauce or sugar. Um, so just be aware of that yeah. when you're making the recipe. Yeah, okay, we've got so the coconut milk. Coconut milk. So that goes in, and then we yeah. just wait for that to start simmering away, don't we? Yeah. Do you want me to turn that up for you? Okay. Now we can add. So that. I'm going to see if we've got any questions while we're here. Uh, we've got Elise saying, "What type of oil did you use?" Just the vegetable oil. Yeah. Vegetable so, oil. Um, so we get this question a lot uh, about what kind of oil we use for our different types of Asian cooking, and we generally keep two or three different types of oil around the place. Uh, for me, the most important thing is that it's neutral tasting because for Asian cooking. Something like an olive oil, you know, it's a bit of a waste of an olive flavour because you don't want that flavour through your Asian 
sort of flavours. Um, so vegetable oil, rice bran oil, peanut oil, canola oil, all those things are great. They've got a high yep. smoke point so they can be used for stir fries or deep frying yep. um, and they don't um, interfere with the flavour of, of everything else that's going on. Yes. So that's what we do. Now, I, I like a little bit of crunchy peanut butter. You're a crunchy, crunchy peanut, peanut kind of person, aren't you? Butter. That's it's your favourite, isn't it? Okay. Spoon, okay. it so it's two tablespoons, that one. Yeah. yeah. So could you use smooth if you were a smooth peanut butter person? Uh, you can use smooth because you've got crunchy peanut to go in there. I like a little bit of you flavor like on this the, one. You like the crunchy peanut. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just add it in. Uh-huh. Add in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so again, Mum, if we were making this for a party, can we make this sauce everything in a, you know? You can do a make a, 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 a head, yeah, yeah, for party here. Yeah. yeah. It's looking good already. I always like to. I always like to eat the peanut butter off the spoon. Yes. <laughs> and it tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. That's yeah. looking good. Yeah. Okay. I'm so I'll add some more in. A little bit more coconut oil. Oil milk in it. So I mean, this is a thing as well. So you can add more or less depending on how yeah. thick or thin you like your yeah. satay sauce. I think the main thing for me is adjusting that seasoning at the end. So tasting it because depending on the curry paste that you've used, you might need to add, as I said, a little bit more fish sauce or a little bit more sugar. Yeah. And also everyone has a different, you know, sort of taste that they like. So yeah. can I have a little, can I stick my finger in there? Yep. Yeah. Mm, that's tasting good already, Mark. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> now we've got a sort ready. Okay, the sauce is ready. Yeah. Now do you want to add any fish sauce or anything like that? Uh, a little bit of... I think a little bit of yeah. fish sauce. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Now... Okay. Now, I don't think that needs any sugar no. for me, but um, if you liked a sweeter one, you could add but a little bit more sugar. But the sauce would be a little bit sweet, right? But yeah. it should be all right. It should be good. It should yeah. be sweet now. Good. Okay. Now okay, so that. Jackie Tierra is saying, Marion, can you say hi to me? Hi, Jackie. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> J-A-C-U-I. Beautiful spelling. Okay, so satay sauce done. So if you're just joining us, guys, we are making my mum's amazing chicken satay, Thai chicken satay. And we have done yep. the marinating for the chicken, we've done the satay sauce, and now we're going to get cooking on the actual skewers themselves. Yes. Now we can Okay, move. now we can get the skewers. And we've had the skewers soaking in some water. This is really important, particularly, guys, if you're going to be doing this on a barbecue grill plate outside where you could get flare-ups. Um, you don't want the sticks themselves to burn, so just soak them in some water first. And then we just dry them off a little bit. And then because we don't want to get stuff all over our hands, I'm going to put my hands into some bags. So if you don't have gloves, you can just use bags. All right, so Mum, how do we get... What are we doing here? Are we threading this chicken? Yeah. All right, you, do you want to... Low a little bit. Okay, cool. how about you do the chicken and I'll do the pan, because okay. I'll get in trouble if I don't do the chicken right, and Mum doesn't like working this stuff. Uh, you got to put this flour or put the chicken in hand? No, I think you can use those, Mum. Huh? You can use those. Okay. So, do you want it on high or medium, or...? On, on medium, okay. Medium, okay. Just use one will do, okay. because we only need one. Yeah. And so you've got the chicken in strips. Yes, you've got one piece like this, yeah. right? What you do, you start put the okay. skewers in. I'll empty this water out okay. and then you can use this. Just uh, like this. So you're threading it and so it's quite thin, you've got quite a thin so it's not too thick and chunky and stuff, no. right? No, yeah, just like this. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Oh, De Auntie Denise is watching us. Auntie Denise is watching us from Christchurch. Oh, Christ really? Church. Auntie Denise, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Denise. <laughs> and so, Mum, if you were going to leave these to marinate, would you, do you marinate them, do you put them on the skewer and then leave them to marinate? Or oh, you can do that. Or you can leave just it, leave do it like this after, and then yeah. do it yeah. after. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, because there's oil in the marinade, do we need to put any oil in the pan? Yes, yeah. yes. We do, we do put a little bit of oil you, you in the pan. You do, yeah. Okay. You do. Um, and if you're doing it, but you could do it on a barbecue outside as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just put a little bit of oil on the barbecue yeah. grill. Yes. Yeah. 
So chicken, I love the chicken one, but you know, pork is really good pork, as well. Pork, you can do pork, you can do beef. Yeah. You know? Um, so guys, we've really been enjoying all your photos of the recipes that you've been cooking. We've been getting lots this week, all the different salads and um, and uh, and stir fries that we've been doing. A couple of people did the drunken the, uh, noodles the, the other day. Up. Yeah, let me have a look at the pan. Turn down a bit. Why don't we start getting some chicken in there? Yep. Do you want me to start? Do you want to put a little bit of oil yep. in there? Yeah. Okay. Gift, do we have any qu any more questions that have popped up since? Is that enough oil? No, really asking if your, if your actually available in India. Oh, okay. So um, at the moment, my Marion's Kitchen kits are available in the USA, Australia and New Zealand. They're just new to New Zealand, so um, happy eating everyone there. Uh, and But not currently in India, sorry. But maybe one day soon, that would be nice. Uh, but if you want to guys want to check out where to find um, or which supermarkets to find them in, you can find them on my um, website, marionskitchen.com. That would be too hot. Okay, so turn it down. Yep. All right, I'm going to start getting this chicken. Yep. Sizzle, that's what we want. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll get in trouble later, won't I, for turning it up. <laughs> now, the good thing about doing them, um, I, I don't like them when they're too chunky because it can be hard to get that middle yeah, part yeah, cooked yeah. where the skewer is. So by doing them in that, those nice sort of long threads, yes, it's yes, much yes. easier to cook that, that chicken through, which yep. is good. Does that look all right? Yeah, it looks delicious, Mum. I'm yes. excited. Um, Gift, did we have any, any other questions that have come through? Yeah. Margaret wants to know if you have any plans for another cookbook. Oh, that's a good question. So, yes, I, I am working on a cookbook idea at the moment. Currently, my two of my cookbooks that were released um, are sold out. So, sorry, guys, I know a lot of you have been asking about those. Um, you can, at the moment, still find my recipes. Um, sorry, my cookbooks on iTunes, so you can get digital copies. I know it's not the same. Uh, so hopefully a new cookbook out soon-ish. <laughs> but in the meantime, I think, you know, um, I get a lot of people emailing and, and um, asking questions about where to find a lot of recipes. So you've seen a recipe ages ago and you can't remember where the video is. Do you know the best place to go and search for any of the videos, including these live shows, is on my YouTube channel. So Marion's Kitchen, YouTube, uh, it's really easy to find all of the recipes there and the videos and there's links to the written recipes. So um, that's a really good option if you're looking for specific recipes. So how do we know, how, how do, do we just, how do we know when that chicken's done, Mum? Yep. We just keep turning yep. and waiting for the colour to go all things. nice. No, we don't need to do all of those. I think as long as there's enough you know, to snap yep. on. Live shows make us hungry. <laughs> yeah. Turn it, just turn it down or not? I don't want to hold that, just on the middle one. Okay, there you go. Too just hot. the middle one. Yep. Okay. okay. So oh, it's to, the colour starts to change. You see that you know that you cook. You see, I'll, this is why the sugar is, a, it, you know, that the sugar really is a little bit of a magical yep. ingredient for this, because that's what's giving you that really nice, yep. Um, sort of charry yep. brown colour, which is uh, what we yeah, like. And you've got the, 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 the yep, TV. so we don't need those. Okay, so I'm going to start getting your your prawns onto a plate as well, Mum. Yep. Now, while that, that chicken's cooking, can you can you show everyone what to do with this, with the ajar? Yep. I'll look after this yeah, chicken. Okay, this one, you should put that. So guys, just remember, at the beginning we made a syrup, um, and that's this syrup here. It's now nice and cool, and we need to add the vegetables. So you tell everyone what we're doing with the vegetables. Yeah, just a uh, uh, stack cucumber. Right. And uh, So this is um, red Asian red shallots. Red Asian shallots, and yeah. a big uh, chili. Yeah. And so these big, big red chilies, they're not spicy, guys. No. It's more can, just like yeah. for some colour and, um, you know. Now you're ready to put the salt in. Yeah. 
So this is like our sweet sour relish. Yes, yeah, sweet yeah. sour relish. Let's put on like this. Yeah. yeah. And so if you were getting satay, yep. um, at any kind of street yep. vendor in Thailand, this is this this is the little this relish you would get, get yep. on the side. Yep. So we're just continuing to cook our little yep. chicken Chicken's pieces cooked, here. Yeah. And look at that colour. That's so delicious. Ooh, look at that. That yeah. was lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you pop those there. I'll get the prawns going on this one. Yeah. So guys, if you're just joining us, we are finishing up our dish dishes for today. We have our coconut prawns. And we have our chicken satay. Oh, we need us. We need a bowl for our satay sauce too. We can't forget yeah. that. Okay, so this is our satay sauce. Yep. Ah, oh, that just looks perfect, Mum. And yep. so the way that you would go about eating this is, you know, you have a little bit of your chicken. Uh, in the satay sauce and then you want to you know get a little bit of the cucumber and the chili and the shallot and you sort of eat it, eat it all together so you get this sweet sour yep. peanutty mm -hmm. and then you get the savory yep. marinade the chicken and the chili yep mmm mmm it's so good <laughs> high five <laughs> I didn't even get any satay sauce on my white <laughs> on my white top. Yeah. That's a miracle. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's recipes. We love cooking for you guys. We love to see you every week. Um, hope to see you next week. <laughs> Bye. See you. See you.